sup american truckers got old snapper here with trucking with old snapper excuse the background noise i'm in a rest area and i'm screen recording this but uh something i want to talk about here i thought it was really important i'm going to kind of skim through this article i read it a while ago it's got a lot of good information in it um i did not know that arkansas was also participating in this high school cdl program apparently they are i knew california was and there's another state as well i believe missouri that is participating in this program um, at the end y'all are gonna want to hear the end fmcsa makes a statement at the end it's very important when i get down to it i'm going to emphasize it again uh, i'm not sure how i feel about the statement that fmcsa makes i'm interested in how all of you feel about the statement that FMCSA makes at the end of this article. So let's jump into this. Let me get that window rolled up first so I can cut some of the noise out. <clears throat> Arkansas team becomes first high school student in state's history to complete CDL training. Uh, this came out yesterday. Uh, Transportation Network, TNN. They're the ones that put this out yesterday. Uh, January 18th Forest City, Arkansas an Arkansas teenager has made history in the state by becoming the first high school student to successfully complete a commercial driver's license training program I'm not going to tr try to pronounce his name because I will probably mess it up his last name is Green so Mr. Green 18 is a senior at Forest City High School where he runs track and plays baseball and now Green can add CDL school graduate to his list of accomplishments after recently graduating the pilot team trucker commercial driver's license training uh, CDT program at uh, East Arkansas Community College EACC Green was the only student in the pilot program which was held in the fall semester of 2021 a college representative told transportation nation network through our experience with him as a high school student in the program we were able to establish the processes needed in order to develop the high school CDT program <clears throat> so basically they were uh, using this cat mr. green 18 years old to try to develop the program to where it would best fit uh, someone on that maturity level an 18 19 year old um, so that's basically what was happening there green began the program in November of 2021 and graduated the following month I got excited at first because I ain't ever been in a big truck it was the first time being in one green stated green is scheduled to test for a CDL license this week uh, EACC told uh, TNN um, one of the most memorable parts of the CDT program for Green was a mentorship from experienced drivers. So apparently the college is using some experienced drivers to help uh, teach this. But we all know your idea of experienced, my idea of experienced, uh, the next driver's idea of experienced is all different. You know, it varies. So I, I'd be interested in knowing how how experienced the drivers they're using but anyway back to the article you get to learn from old heads smart knowledge you know none of these young cats that's what mr. green said according to FCHS green was diagnosed with some type of anemia a plastic anemia and has had to receive treatment from st. Jude's research hospital every two weeks Despite his frequent travel to St. Jude, he always found time to show up to class and ultimately make history, the school proudly stated. As, a, as the spring 2022 semester kicks off, EACC will once again be offering a teen trucker CDT program, along with its well-established CDL program for aspiring drivers of any ages. Y'all copy that? Any ages. 
All right, the high school course lasts the entire semester and is open to 18 year old students. So the actual course is open to 18 year old students. They have a pre-program that offers, uh, I guess, classroom training, which is open to everybody. Let's get down here. To support the program, EACC stated it added a full-time instructor and additional driving range and is covering all the fuel and maintenance costs as well as the cost of licensing as well as the cost of licensing and testing. EACC said it expedited 8 to 10 students enrolled. Ah, uh, expedited. Did you see that? Boy, that's that South Texas education right there. Let me start over. EACC said it expected 8 to 10 students enrolled in the CDT program in the spring semester and enrollment is still open. Good teacher culture, everything's good, Green said. Ain't nothing dangerous, none of that. You're, you're going to learn to drive a big truck at the end of the day. That's basically what uh, Mr. Green said. And Mr. Green says he aspires to work for a company that offers attractive benefits and competitive 401k plan and is currently seeking employment opportunities. All right, now we're going to get in right here as to what the FMCSA stated. Uh, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration is also launching a new teen trucker pilot program allowing truckers as young as 18 years old to operate cross country. We've heard rumors of it. I've seen little drips and droplets of that rumor. This is the first time I've ever seen a statement in an article from FMCSA stating that that's what they're going to, going to do. I got to be honest with you, drivers. I don't, I don't know if hiring 18-year-olds out here is going to change a whole lot. I know when I was 18 years old, I wouldn't have wanted this job. You know, I was too busy chasing girls and partying and, uh, you know, fighting at the at the football games on Friday night. You know, I wasn't worried about the last thing on my mind was traveling. Um, I enjoy traveling. I love it. I love what I do. I love being out here around you guys and girls. I love it. But it was not on my mind at 18 years old. I'm not saying that every 18 year old is the same. It might appeal to some. But I don't think it's going to be enough that it's going to make that drastic. That much of a difference. Not only that. But it's probably going to cause quite a bit of an insurance increase. Um, they're probably going to be limited on which companies will hire them. As you know, the first companies to hire them will probably be the bottom feeder companies. Um, Western Express, CRST, CR England, you know, uh, Carolina Cargo, Stevens Transport. You know, those will probably be the companies that are first to jump on 18 year old uh, truck drivers but what do y'all think about it how do y'all feel about this you know what are your thoughts on it you know share this out this is important this is a major change within our industry of something that's happening I believe we're going to start seeing more and more high schools offering CDL programs and over the next few years we're probably going to start seeing them actually roll uh, out into the driving you know they're going to be parking beside us basically you know we're going we're to have them out here we already we you know on a funny note we survive around swift so we should survive just fine with teen drivers that's just a joke by the way just poking fun don't don't take it seriously but uh anyway hope all y'all are staying safe staying warm we're getting towards the end of winter so just hang in there uh try to keep it up keep it between the lines no sense in uh, putting it in the ditch unless you have to, driver. Love all y'all. Remember, we're all family. You see me out here, give me a holler. Let's, let's keep trucking.